Hey, welcome, friends, to our Tuesday devotional for May 26, 2020. Well, I guess we are officially, or I guess unofficially, I should say, in summer. Summer doesn't really start till what, about June 21st, I believe? And they say the beginning of summer, the unofficial beginning, I should say, is uh, Memorial Day. So we are past Memorial Day now. And I do trust you had a blessed uh, and meaningful Memorial Day on Monday, May 25th. Today, again, is Tuesday, May 26, 2020. Again, this is Reverend Phil Anderson, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church in Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Church in Topeka, Kansas. And very, very glad to have you join us today for our informal look at God's Word and our little time together. And today, let's begin in a word of prayer, shall we? Lord, I thank you so much for bringing us together today over the internet through these devotionals that we're doing online, Lord. It's a blessing to me to be able to spend this time with folks this way, and I trust that, Lord, you would bless them for the time that they put into this, Lord. It takes a few minutes, and Lord, I I just trust that your word would go forth and it would be a blessing and an encouragement to those who listen. Lord, now I give this time to you, and may you you bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, again, we thank you. We're gonna we went a little long yesterday. I think if you heard that, it went about 14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes. I I have a little timer on my phone. I record these on, and then we I send them over to Tom Lynn. Thank God for Tom for putting these on our KAUMC.church website. But we've been trying to keep these to 10 minutes. So the rest of the week, I promise you, they will not go over 10 minutes. I don't usually promise anything because a lot of times I don't know if I can deliver, but I will promise that. We're going to keep these to under 10 minutes. So there, I've said it. I've laid the gauntlet down. <laughs> but <clears throat> we read all of their lectionary readings yesterday. Today, we're going to focus on the scripture passage from 1 Peter 4, 7 to 11. So let's just get right into that, okay? We're going to be reading today from the New Living Translation. The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. Well, that's another really great scripture passage. You know, I'm finding 1 Peter, you know, it's one of those books we oftentimes don't pay a lot of attention to because it's tucked way towards the back of the New Testament. And we often don't get back that far. We usually kind of stick around the Gospels and some of Paul's letters, you know, 1st, 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians. And we have to get back there a little ways to get into 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, Jude, Revelation. Of course, a lot of people stay away from Revelation. They don't really know quite what to do with that book. And 1st and 2nd Peter are there back there too. So it's one of those books, that I think maybe by virtue of where it's placed, or where they are placed, excuse me, we don't always get to uh, get into 1st and 2nd Peter, maybe like we should. Yeah, another great book is 1st and 2nd Timothy, or a pair of books, and 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, two other really good books that often don't get quite the, the, the attention, I think, that they probably should be getting. So, you don't have to be a Bible scholar to get something out of the Bible. But you can certainly benefit from reading and from taking it to the next level and at least getting a study Bible where you can read the footnotes. I've got what's called here the Life Application Study Bible, which... uh, It's just full of good footnotes. And it's good to have several different versions of the Bible around to uh, study and to read. And there's a lot of different views on those. We won't get off on that too much other than to say, I'll just share with you some of the ones I, I go to and turn to. I usually try to read at least three or four 
versions for sermon preparation and they could be in not any particular order maybe the new international version maybe the new revised standard version new living translation maybe the king james version i know some people say that's probably one that you don't want to do a lot of deep studying because there have been a lot of changes in the english language since it came out in the 1600s a lot of new material has been discovered since then but i love the the flow and the poetry of the king james and i think for that reason alone it's well worth reading so and there are others i mean i'm just giving you off the top of my head and i don't have them all sitting in front of me as i'm doing this at home today but you can really benefit a lot from your from your bible reading amen so today we read about this message from first peter chapter 4 there's a lot of very practical what i would call admonitions which go beyond maybe suggestions but maybe stop short of commands. They're encouragements for us to use what God has given us. And it's great to read this because this is something I think we hear about. Well, here it is in the Bible. It says, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. And did you know you had a spiritual gift? Well, you do. If you're a believer in Christ, you've got a spiritual gift. You may have a bunch of spiritual gifts. But the gifts are not meant for you to hold on to. Unlike maybe a gift you would get at your birthday or at Christmas or something else. You might just get a gift. These gifts are meant to be shared with others. But it doesn't stop there. And this is where, when we share our gifts, we do it with one goal in mind. We love people, and we do it so we bring honor to God. That's sort of the, that's sort of the, the, the idea. So when we as a church family do things to benefit our community, maybe we're giving out clothes or food or we're just sharing our building, maybe, for with a group. I think we need to do it in such a way that we are honoring God and putting Him at the forefront. Not have to, we don't have to preach to people all the time. That's not what I'm saying. But we just do everything we do in word and deed to the glory of God. And if you read that last verse, which we will here, again, it says, if you have these gifts, do everything you have with all the strength and energy that God supplies, then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Well, that's, that's just that. So may our lives reflect our love for Christ and may what we do and say direct people, point people to Jesus and give glory and honor to God. And we do that through our words and through our deeds. And that's, it's just no separation. And we just do everything to honor our Lord. Well, let's conclude with a prayer. Shall we, Father, again, I thank you for the word. This time just flew by today. Lord, I pray your blessing upon each one listening. May you be especially close to him today. Lord, help know you're right, right there with him as you're walking with him through life. Have us, Lord, help us to have a great day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, hey, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at kaumc.church. May God richly bless you is my prayer.